first product I'm going to be using is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup. Whoa, that's a mouthful. And it's in the shade 6W1 Sandalwood. So I really like this foundation. I've had it for quite a while. The only issue I have with it is that it's quite drying. And I prefer more dewy foundations these days. So I haven't um, been excited to use it. And also I feel like the color is not exactly right. It's kind of too cool toned for my complexion. But otherwise it's a very high coverage foundation and I had some good times with it, but it's just not my preference anymore. Now I'm applying the Catrice Camouflage Cream in shade 020B Light Beige. As you can see, it's just not a good color. It's too bright. When I bought it, I thought I would be able to use it as a highlighting concealer, but it's just, it's too bright. And I think also the, the undertone of it just doesn't work really well, even when I try to mix it with other concealers it just doesn't work and I haven't reached for it much so I think those are my reasons for not liking it I'm just taking my foundation and I'm covering up that concealer because no, no honey, it does not work. G, goodbye to this concealer. Now I'm using my very old Beauty Treats Matte Blush Contour Collection. As you can see, the packaging is breaking it has broken so i think i'm gonna keep this palette for a little while longer because i really like the colors but i've had it for quite a while and i'm getting a bit bored of it now i'm using another product from catrice this is the absolute eye color in shade 990 don't cry for me aubergina so there's nothing wrong with this eyeshadow at all um i've had it for a very long time so you see that the packaging has broken and sometimes it crumbles off and it makes my drawers all dirty and stuff but i'm gonna keep it because it's a very beautiful color and i just i'm not ready to let go of it but yeah Next up, I have the Maybelline Color Show Eyeshadow in shade 08 Violet Vice. I have also had this for a long time. Most of these products, I've had them for quite a while, actually. And I also love this color. It's not very pigmented, so it just gives you a bit of color, as you can see in the video, but it's not as vibrant as it looks on the pan. So I think I'm going to keep it for a little while longer as well, but I've had it for a long time and I don't know if it's safe for me to keep using it actually, but I'm willing to risk it all for makeup. <laughs> Now 
the last eyeshadow I'm gonna use is the Catrice eyeshadow in 080 please gold the line and as you can see it's very bright gold uh, colored but this is more of a pressed pigment it's not really a typical eyeshadow I have a few other gold eyeshadows so I rarely ever reach for this one Now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in shade Ebony. The only gripe I have with this product is that I think it's too dark. I should have gone with one shade, um, one shade up, which is dark brown. But I'm definitely going to keep it and I'm going to try and work with it and make it work for me because... I was really excited to buy a ABH brow product, so it's gonna have to work, child. It's just gonna have to work, sweetheart. I'm now using the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Chocolate. I just don't like how red this lip liner is. I think I would prefer something a little bit more darker. Now I'm using my NYX Full Throttle Lipstick in shade Kiss the Dust. I love the color. It's like a beautiful kind of pinky brown lipstick but my only issue is it's very drying this lipstick it's the most matte lipstick I've ever tried so that's why I don't use it often lastly I'm using my JT1 wink flutter mascara you'll see in a bit that this mascara is so messy I think there's too much product in the tube so it makes it very difficult for you to look at that oh child so yeah <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 